होम स्कूल दिस योर नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ योर क्लास 9 मैथमेटिक्स एनसीईआरटी और सीबीएसई दिस इज योर थर्ड चैप्टर लाइंस एंड एंगल्स एंड योर एक्सरसाइज 3.2 लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द थर्ड प्रॉब्लम इन फिगर कैन यू सी द फिगर देयर इफ ए बी पैरेलल टू सी डी व्हाट इज ए बी एंड सी डी ए बी एंड सी डी आर टू लाइंस एंड दे आर पैरेलल ए बी पैरेलल टू सी डी एंड एंगल जी ई डी इज इक्वल टू 126 डिग्री ऑब्जर्व हियर चिल्ड्रन जी ई डी दिस इज द एंगल व्हाट डिड दे गिव दिस एंगल 126 डिग्री ओके फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इट इज 126 डिग्री फाइंड एंगल ए जी ई Where is angle A G E? A G E means this angle. You need to calculate. And angle G E F G E F this angle. And one more F G E this angle. So they have given you only one angle. You need to calculate three angles. Okay. So before doing your solution, we do the roughly. Within one minute, we can write all the answers. Okay, just see the picture carefully. If these two are parallel lines, what all you can remember? Their alternate interior angles must be equal, right? So, can we apply that? Let's see here. Can you see the symbol? What is this symbol? This indicates FE is perpendicular to CD. Perpendicular. 90 degree, right? This is 90. Then from here to here it is 126. Then what is this small part? So how do you get this one? In 126 degree, subtract 90 degree. You are going to get this angle. Let's do here. In 126 degree, I don't want from here to here. So I will subtract. So what you are going to get? 36 degree is your answer. So look here carefully. This is thirty-six, right? Now next one. This one you need. So look here, children. In two parallel lines, you can see a line. It makes the interior angles equal. So look here. This one twenty-six is alternate to this angle. That makes one twenty-six. This also. 126 degree. According to that, if two lines are parallel, then their interior alternate angles are equal. Okay. Second question also completed. What about the third sub question? You can see a linear pair, common ray, right? You can see a linear pair or a straight angle. What is the sum of the angle at point G? What is the sum here, children? This total from here to here it will be 180 degrees. I need only this part in 180 subtract 126 degree. That is 180 subtract 126 degree. That will be 54 degrees. Your answer. That's all. Your answer is completed. So identifying the figure, you can see all answers. But how we are proving, we should know carefully. Okay, let's start your solution here. Given, what all given? Given AB is line parallel to CD, and EF perpendicular to CD. Okay, so still what they give? Angle GED is equal to one hundred twenty six. Degree. What all you need to calculate? A angle A G E is equal to question mark. Angle G E F is equal to question mark. And angle F G E is equal to question mark. What all you need to calculate? You write with a question mark. So now let me start from here. Given what is given? Angle GED is equal to one twenty six degree, right? GED angle I can split it as GEF and FED. That is, 
GEF plus angle FED combinedly is equal to 126 degree. Given FED perpendicular, that makes this angle 90 degree. Angle GEF plus 90 degree equal to 126. Plus 90 degrees and other side, it will be subtracted. 126 minus 90, that makes 36 degree. Therefore, angle GEF is equal to 36 degree. Okay, one sub question is completed. So, let me move to the next one here. What is that? This 90, if you want, you can write here, given in construction, that is perpendicular. Now, this angle, I will write... Angle AGE is equal to angle GED. What is the reason behind this statement here? Alternate, alternate interior angles, alternate interior angles between, you can write that statement also. Between two parallel lines. Between two parallel lines. Then these two angles are same. Then what I can say? I can write angle AGE is equal to what is GED given here? 126 degree. Yes, second question is also answered. In coming to your third question. How do you start here children? AB is a line from G point. Angle AGE plus angle FGE is equal to is equal to 180 degrees. What is the reason? Linear, linear pair, linear pair. So what is angle AGE we got there? 126 degree. Plus angle FGE is equal to 180. Send this 126 this side. It will be subtracted. Angle FGE is equal to 180 degree minus 126 degree. Therefore, angle FGE is equal to 54 degree is your final answer. Okay, let's see the fourth problem here. In figure, can you see the figure there? If PQ parallel to ST. See, this is PQ parallel to ST. So, let me mark like this. PQ is parallel to ST. And angle PQR. Angle PQR is equal to 110 degree. And RST angle is equal to 130 degree. RST angle is 130 degree. Find angle QRS means this angle you need to calculate. Okay, orally let's do now. And in your textbook, they have given a hint. What is that hint? Draw a line parallel to ST from point R. So let's draw a parallel line. Okay, this is your parallel line for this line. So, what did they give him, children? Draw a line parallel to ST from point R. Now, try to identify what all you can find here. So, look here. This line is also parallel to this line. Yes or no? So, lines parallel to same line are equal to one another. So, this line is parallel to this line. I can say this 110 degree is alternate to angle Q R U. Let's mark one letter U. So this complete from here to here angle is 110. I need only this angle. So how can I find? I just remember one more point here. In between two parallel lines, in between two parallel lines, the interior angles of same side of a transversal 
sum is supplementary that makes 130 degree plus this angle only this angle children is equal to 180 right interior angles on same side of a transversal sum is supplementary 130 plus what if you do you will get 180 so 180 you subtract either of the manner you may get this in 180 you subtract 130 you are going to get 50 degree so if this is 50 now this complete angle is how much alternate to this complete angle is 110 in 110 degree subtract 50 up to here don't want so that makes 60 degrees your answer over first understand the problem carefully what given what i need to do so once again we have drawn a line parallel to st from point r okay then identify on the same side transversal interior angle sum will be supplementary 180 minus 130 will be 50 and this is alternate to this angle full complete from here to here it is 110 i don't want this angle 110 minus 50 it will be 60 degree let's start here solution given pq parallel to st and what all given Angle PQR is equal to 110 degree. Angle RST is equal to 130 degree. What you need to find? Angle QRS is equal to question mark. After a tiny construction, what is that? Draw a line. Draw a line. R U parallel to S T. I have drawn a line or draw a line R U parallel to S T. Next step angle T S R plus angle S R U is equal to 180. So how can you say this statement by theorem? Theorem statement 3.4. Look your textbook children. What is that? In between two parallel lines, the sum of the interior angles of one side of a transversal is supplementary. Now, by this, angle TSR is how much? Given 130 degree. I don't know SRU. Angle SRU is equal to 180 degree. Now send this 130 that side plus 130 if it goes to the side minus 130. Angle SRU is equal to 180 degree minus 130 degree. That will be 180 minus 130 is how much? 50 degree. Angle SRU is equal to 50 degree. So still it's not completed. Then I go with these two. Okay, we know I've drawn a line parallel then automatically this line is parallel to PQ also. We know now PQ is parallel to RU. Okay, this is parallel to this then this is also parallel to this. We know now PQ is parallel to RU. If they are parallel they are alternate to one another. So that will be angle PQR is equal to angle QRU. Okay. What is PQR children? It will be 110. Angle QRU is also 110 degree. How can we say this when this angle equal to this angle? By theorem 3.2 statement. Angle QRU is equal to how much children? According to that we got 110 degree. QRU you can split the angle. How can you split angle QRS plus QRS plus SRU plus angle SRU is equal to 110 degree. Now, what is uh, SRU angle children? 50 degree. Substitute in that place. 
angle QRS plus 50 degree is equal to 110 degree. Now, send this 50 degree towards right hand side, then it becomes minus 50 degree. 110 degree minus 50 degree, that will be 60 degree is your answer. What they asked, angle QRS is how much? Angle QRS is how much? 60 degree. Okay. Your fifth problem in figure. Can you see the figure? AB parallel to CD. If AB parallel to CD. You can see two lines AB and CD. AB is parallel to CD. Okay. Angle APQ. Observe here. Angle A, P, Q. This angle is 50 degree. And angle P, R, D is 127 degree. Find X and Y. X and Y value you need to find. So first let's see by using figure we will answer orally. This is 50. So these two lines are parallel children. So you can see the alternate angles are equal. This is 50, then what about this angle? 50 degree. X is equal to 50 degree finished. Now again, you can see one more transversal line, right? Or a line you can see. So, in between two parallel lines, the alternate angles are equal. From here to here, 127. Now this line, from here to this line, total how much? 127 degree. But I need for Y only this part. In 127, if you subtract 50, that will be how much here? 77 degree is your answer. Okay, that's all. X and Y value is completed. So, let's solve now. Solution. What's your solution? Given AB parallel to CD and Angle APQ is equal to 50 degree. And one more. Angle PRD is equal to 127 degree. Now what all you need to find? X is equal to question mark. Y is equal to question mark. Okay. So let's start here. What is that? Angle APQ is equal to angle PQR that is how did I write the statement here by alternate angles the alternate interior angles in between two parallel lines are equal so now angle APQ is how much 50 degree and angle PQR is X therefore X is equal to 50 degree right so, still what you need to find? Y. So, you need to find Y means first let me find this complete angle. So, now again, again, what you are going to write? Angle APR is equal to angle PRD. Again, what is the reason? Same reason, alternate interior angles in between two parallel lines are equal. So, what is angle APR? Angle APR we don't know. Angle APR is equal to angle PRD is 127 degree. So, this angle is equal to 127 degree. But, this angle is splitted here. How it is splitted this angle? Angle APQ and angle QPR. So, that I will write here. Instead of angle APR, I will write the two angles. Angle APQ plus angle QPR is equal to 127 degree. What is this angle APQ? 50 degree. 50 degree plus angle QPR is Y is equal to 127 degree. Then y is equal to, send this 50 that side, 127 degree minus 50, that will be y is equal to 77 degree is your answer. x value is 50 and y value is 77 degree is your answer.
Let's see the sixth problem here. In figure PQ and RS. Can you see here PQ and RS? Two lines are two mirrors. What are PQ and RS children? There are two mirrors placed parallel to each other. Imagine this is one mirror PQ and this is RS. Placed parallelly to one another. An incident ray AB strikes the mirror. So look here. Incident ray strikes the mirror PQ at B. So immediately what happens? When an image falls on a mirror, what does it do? It reflects. Okay. This incident ray reflects and again falls on another mirror which is placed parallel to PQ. Then here again it reflects. Incident reflects and this reflect ray this reflected ray incident on other mirror and from here again reflection occurs. Okay. So understand the figure carefully. PQ and RS are two mirrors which are placed parallelly. Okay. So next line. Incident ray AB strikes the mirror PQ at B. The reflected ray moves along the path BC and strikes the mirror RS at C and again reflects back along CD. Prove that AB parallel to CD. What is your question here? Understand the question? There are two mirrors placed parallel to one another. So this mirror parallel to another mirror is placed. Then an incident ray strikes a mirror. Then it, its reflection passes and touches the other mirror. Then again it reflects. This incident ray and final reflected ray is parallel. You need to prove. How can I prove this? So for this I will take a construction here. I will draw a small construction here. Let me draw a line which is perpendicular. So draw a line uh, BL perpendicular to RS and MC or CM perpendicular to AB. Anyway it is perpendicular. Why I have drawn? I need to draw these two lines are parallel. Okay again you don't confuse here. So this arrow mark I just remove here. This dotted lines, these two lines are parallel. Okay. I have done a construction. These two lines are parallel. Now how can we prove this? So first think here. If I say these two lines are parallel, their interior angles are equal. This angle equal to this angle I will say. Okay. Then again I remember something. Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Then next point I will say this angle equal to this angle. Similarly, angle of incident equal to angle of reflection. So now observe here. This equal to this and these two equal, these two equal. So finally what I can say? This angle is equal to this angle. Next step add this angle plus this angle. It will be this angle plus this angle. Then what happens here? This makes an alternate angle. If these angles are equal, then automatically A, B and C, D are parallel. This is the way we try to prove. If I say normally with the figure, you may not follow. Right? So let's start your solution here. How can we prove this? Solution. Given... Given PQ and RS are two mirrors, you write the statement PQ parallel to RS. Given PQ and RS are two mirrors which are placed parallel to one another such that PQ parallel to RS. Next step. What is the next step here children? Draw. Draw. BL perpendicular to RS and 
CN perpendicular to PQ. Okay, I have drawn two lines and I say that BL is parallel to MC. BL is parallel to MC. So, I have drawn the perpendiculars and I say these two lines are parallel. BL is parallel to MC. Now, by seeing this, what I can say, just observe only this children. What you can say, if these two lines are parallel, look here, if these two lines are parallel, what happens? This angle equal to this angle or not? So, that I am going to write. If they are parallel, angle L, B, C is equal to angle, you can write B, C, M or M, C, B, any way you can write. Angle L, B, C is equal to angle M, C, B. This is your first equation. How I have written this? If two lines are parallel, their interior alternate angles are equal. Now, now look here again. I see here. We know. We know. What do we know? Angle of incidence. A, B, L is equal to angle L, B, C. What is the reason here? Angle of incidence. Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. See, incident ray and reflection ray is equal. Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Same manner, this angle of incidence, angle of reflection. Now again, this becomes angle of incidence and that becomes angle of reflection. That will be angle BCM is equal to angle MCD. See here, BCM or MBC both are same. But main angle is C, right? So observe here, MCB or BCM both are same. Now, observe these two carefully and mark the same manner. Same I will say. Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Mark this as 2 and mark this as 3. Okay. On comparing, what I can say here? In these two, LBC is common. Okay. Then these MCB, MCB is common. So finally, what I can say here? Angle ABL. So, what are the remaining things you have here? Angle ABL is equal to angle MCD. How I have equated here? Uh, things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another. By comparing three equations, these two are common and these two are, these two are common and these two are common. Remaining what you left, you can equate those two. That is angle ABL is equal to what you got? MCD. So now mark this as fourth equation. Now before what I got children, first equation observe carefully. LBC is equal to MCB. Now let me try to add this angle. Add equation 1 and 4. Add equation 1 and 4 separately. Angle LBC plus angle ABL is equal to angle MCB plus angle MCD. Now observe here children. LBC, where is LBC? This angle plus angle ABL, this complete angle. If you add these two, what you are going to get? This complete angle ABC. Similarly, right hand side, angle MCB, this angle, and angle MCD, this complete angle. Finally, what we got here, angle ABC is equal to angle BCD. So, now observe there, you can see the figure like this. This angle is equal to this angle. You try to prove. If these two angles are equal, automatically these two lines will be parallel. Yes or no?
now this form a pair of alternate pair of alternate interior interior angles pair of alternate interior angles are equal then what can i say children here these two lines are parallel which two lines therefore ab is parallel to cd this is the proof we need to prove once again i will say this this is having a little bit confusion so now pq and rs are two mirrors placed one below the other parallelly okay an instant ray touches b and reflects to c and again this becomes incident and touches c reflects cd prove that ab is parallel to cd how i have tried to prove here so i have constructed two parallel lines and made that these two alternate angles are equal if these two parallel lines then those angles are alternate to one another now i remember incident angle is equal to reflected angle angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection same manner angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection comparing the three equations what you can write angle abl is equal to angle mcd now again angle abl means this angle and mcd this angle we got but by first equation this equal to this i got no so add equation 1 and 4 what you are going to get this complete angle is equal to this complete angle right that indicates that alternate pair of interior angles are equal okay pair of interior alternate angles are equal then automatically we can say ab is parallel to cd with this we are going to complete our 3.2 exercise children in our next session we are going to meet with your next exercise thank you all